In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your Google Play Store listing. So before you submit your app to the App Store, you actually have to create the listing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to play.google.com forward slash um, apps forward slash publish. And that is the Google Play console. I need to be logged in here with my developer account. Then you click create app and go through these, uh, just answer these few questions about the app details. I've already done that, so I'm gonna to go to the next part. So um, you'll see this screen here, and Google likes to change their dashboards a lot, so it may look different for you. But the first thing that we're gonna do is we can go to this list and view the tasks that we have to do to set up the app. So um, let us know about the content of your app. Um, let's see. Okay, so if you have like a login or something like that, you need to add the instructions here for how to actually log in for the app reviewers. So let's see. I'm gonna put in my phone number, fill out the rest of this information. What I wanna do is add in information on how to actually log in. So you're gonna to wanna to provide a username and password for the reviewers to log into your app. Okay, so now that I filled that out, I added the username and password that the reviewer needs to log in. I'm gonna save that. If you don't have any login or any app restrictions, then you just click the first one and you don't need to do anything else. So let's go back to the dashboard. We're gonna see if we are displaying ads. My app does not display ads. If yours does, then obviously press yes there. Go back to the dashboard again. We're gonna to go to the content rating. So then you're just gonna go through this questionnaire, put in your email address. So put in a category and then it's going to ask you some questions that contain like violence or nudity or anything like that. So you're gonna save that, it's gonna give you a rating. Go ahead and submit it. Okay. Next thing we wanna do is go to the privacy policy. So you wanna make sure you have a privacy policy on your site that is required now by uh, Apple and I think Google requires it as well. And just link to that. Next, we're gonna to go to the target audience and content target age group, um, let's see, answer these questions, 18 and over, okay, do the next one, news apps, let us know, is this a news app, I think it does, oh, you know what, actually, I wouldn't say no, I'm gonna, I might get pushback on that with this one, but we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, it looks like I filled out everything there. So let's click back on the dashboard. Let's see, we're gonna show an app category. It is an app, the category is going to be entertainment. Go back to the dashboard again. It's so going to go to set up your store listing. All right, so, so you're gonna fill out these here. Um, I'm not gonna bore you with watching me do it, but uh, they have some, are, some of these images are required and you just wanna make sure that you follow their guidelines on size and everything like that. And then fill out your description. So when you get down to the screenshot section, we have in our documentation how to cre create screenshots. So if you just search that and docs.appressor.com, you can figure out how to do that in your browser. Um, the other thing you could do is actually take screenshots on your device and then um, just size those down to the necessary size in Photoshop. So once you've uploaded all your screenshots, we're gonna go back and see what else we have to do here. So 
So when you're ready to submit to Google Play, you can go to the Build and Preview tab in your app customizer, um, go to Device Testing and App Stores, and choose Submit to Google Play, and then go ahead and build that app. So the first time that you submit, you do need to upload your APK manually to the app stores. So you will receive an email with a download link to get that APK. And then once you have that APK, you can create a new release. And then you can upload your APK right here and then add in your release details, save that and, and get ready to release your app. After you've uploaded your APK, you're gonna be able to um, release and it's going to say, um, you know, roll out the release or save it or whatever. Um, sometimes it'll end up in the testing column here and then you have, it'll say you have to add, add testers and things like that. If you've already tested your app with the debug build and you don't actually want to roll this out to internal testers, then what you can do is uh, promote it to a production release. So if you go to your releases overview, you should see that you have this internal, uh, this latest release for internal testing. And then um, what you're gonna be able to do, let's see, if we click on internal testing, we're gonna see our release here. What you wanna be able to do is, is um, promote it. So there should be something that says promote release to production. Uh, I already did that, so this is done here. And then you wanna make sure that you get your app rolled out to production. So um, when I do that, it's gonna, it has my APK here already that I did it. I'm gonna go to here and review the release. Sometimes there are some errors, some warnings. You can pretty much ignore most of these. You just wanna kind of take a look and make sure that there's nothing that looks real major. Let's see, we're gonna choose, it wants us to choose countries, add at least one country or region to roll out. So let's see. Okay, so I can go to the countries and regions tab here and click add countries and regions. I'm just gonna add all of them. Click on add countries and regions here. Now that that's available, I can go to my releases. I'm gonna edit this release. Click review release. And then I'm gonna click start. Let me bring this up here. Click start rollout to production. So there you go, so it's being reviewed and once it's reviewed, then it will be released to the Google Play Store. The subsequent submissions for your app can be automated um, and you need to generate a Google Play Services API key. So if you look up in our documentation for Google Play Services API key, there are instructions on how to generate this. And then you just send that to us and we will hook it up to your account. And then the next time you wanna submit an update to your app, it will happen automatically. You don't have to um, even log into the Google Play console. It will automatically publish it to production. So um, that's nice and easy. So I hope this video helped. And if you have any questions, check out our documentation at docs.appressor.com.